So Carolina, tough defense early. Francis just throws it away right to Johnson. 6'3 sophomore on the attack, and he'll lay it in. Key development, Eric Hamilton, 6'9 graduate for the Panthers. He goes to the bench, and they go right inside, and it's Baycott with the stuff. Talked about it before, dunk everything. Armando Baycott going baseline, the finish. They don't jump with you when you go like that. Put both Roy and Dean on there. Right. We see Pittsburgh going to the zone now. We watched them work on this their shoot around early. And this is the only way we can, we can get them out of that zone is knock down some threes. So Ryan Murphy playing it smart, but back playing in the state of North Carolina where it all started. I'll tell you what, Pitt is staying close at the foul line. With it made 14 to 60, another turnover. McAllen's with the stop. Scoring ground of over two and a half minutes for Carolina. Shot clock to four. Long distance. Got it. He really has. He brought them back in this game. Shot clock at five. McGowan's launches. Got it! Boy, another big three. Jim Penny back up top with a shot clock at five. The drive and the stop! How about that? And they hit on the play. In the first half about how good he was getting into the paint, but it doesn't get any better than that. This time, no wing for me. At Chapel Hill, and for the Pitt Panthers, their 11th win of the season, they have broken a 22-game ACC road losing streak going back to February of 2017. That is history. Pitt wins it, 73-65. Duke and Georgia Tech next.